Hi guys, it's programming with here. So I'm now gonna start off by deleting the um, sprite, so we can add the um, flying cat. So now we're gonna go ahead and go to the sprite library. So we're gonna go to the library, sprite library, and we're gonna go choose choose the cat sprite. Now we chose the flying cat, and now we're gonna start off by putting the controls and putting the green flag. The free green flag is like a signal for the the objects to move. So now, when the green flag clicked, we're gonna go front, and then we're gonna make him say time to fly. So now, the cat, the flying cat, is coded to follow these instructions after go to front after go to front and adding time to fly we have to we're gonna go to the sprite library again and we're gonna choose a building the building will act as the outside and it will help us and it will help in making the sprite fly. So now we're gonna add when clicked. So when the building is clicked, when the green flag is clicked, the building will forever. Now we're gonna add the forever, which is in the controls. Then we're gonna go to the motion and add set axe to 250. We're gonna set X to 250. And then of course it would be it would be necessary to repeat this process again. So we have to we're gonna have to add go to controls and add the repeat code. We're gonna repeat it for one hundred times. We're gonna own forever. This will re be repeated con uh, constantly, and then we're gonna repeat it. Repeat. Then we're gonna put. And repeat hundred times. Change x to minus five. The x and y help coordinate the um, cat uh, on where to go. Then we're gonna go to looks and add next costume to the building, so that the building will continuously change forever, which will give the illusion of a flying cat. As you can see here, the flat. The cat is currently flying. We will then add when clicked, uh, when the up arrow is clicked, we will have to change we will have to change the Y by ten and not minus ten. The up arrow means that this acts like a graph. Y goes up and X is vertical. So Y is horizontal. The Y will the positive Y will force a sprite to go up. While the negative Y will force the sprite sprite to go down when pressed up and down arrows. Then we're gonna add the blue sky to give the illusion of the sky. Now we can shrink the uh, flying cat. You can also change the speed by raising um, uh, the uh, y. For example, you can change y to 20 instead of 10 to make him go much faster. Thank you very much, and that's all I have for today.